Welcome back to the channel, guys and gals. I am Norman, also known as King Julian. Please excuse me while I'm cutting this real here real quick, because I'm cutting some more railroad ties to uh, keep working on the test piece stuff. As I've been doing this, I'm really enjoying it. Um, getting creative with the Menards track. And uh, it's been fun overall. I, I, you know, I've enjoyed this. It's old school. It's fun. But what I really wanted to do tonight, because I'm down for a little while until I can go to my receiver. Yes, I'm still cutting while I'm talking. Um, yes, more real ties. Um, I was got to thinking while I was over here doing all this, and I was thinking, you know, we've all seen reviews on Menards cars and their rolling stock, stuff like that, but what about an individual piece? You know, I don't recall seeing a an individual piece done as far as maybe the intermodal cars I've seen. But as far as their box cars, I don't remember seeing anything like that. I don't know. Maybe maybe there has been. I just didn't see it at the time. But uh, so I decided, you know what? I want to do this. Because y'all saw the $10 box car I got from Menards. That was uh, bought for a conversion car for the Hymic known as Queen Elizabeth, and I decided, you know what, this channel is about fun, it's about having a good time on this channel, sharing experiences, sharing trucks, motorcycles, trains, and sometimes everything in between, or railroad ties. So that space in there. <coughs> so why not, right? Why not let's do something different, maybe fun. What we're gonna be looking at today, we are talking about the ten dollar box car I picked up from Menards new without the clamshell because the clamshell was completely obliterated. I got it for a discounted price. Again, thank you to Menards uh, for cornering the market. And allowing to people to be able to buy a brand new rolling stock at a very cheap price without breaking their bank. Even for those that don't have a lot of money, they can still buy the stuff brand new, one piece at a time, or however you need to. They're making O gauge track. Again, thank you, Menards, for making the O gauge track. I have really enjoyed it. I didn't ever think I'd be a big fan of my tubular track, but I've grown such accustomed to it and be able to work with it. It's a good product okay great product you can detail it out add ties do whatever Menards cornered the market on that however Menards was saying that I really wish y'all would get into making some switches 027 031 036 042 054 072 084 096 switches y'all have already got the trains you got the track you got the buildings. Now we need switches and an uncoupling track. Because some of your cars have that plate right there. So we're going to look at the Menards Grand Trunk Western boxcar. Again, I do not have the package for this one because it was destroyed. I got it for $10 discounted because of the package being destroyed. Uh, the coloring. I don't... This coloring may be right on. I'm not sure. I know this color is very close to what I've seen on some of the locomotives up there in Michigan. Uh, so this could be very prototypically correct paint scheme. Not sure. Um, this one was a really nice box car for what it is. You got molded in ladders, both sides, right here and over here and here. Uh, the lettering on it is very, very legible. 
This one did not have any misprints on it, so I was really cool, really cool about that one. Um, now the numbering here, that number is not painted on. It is a decal, and you can see a little slight difference right there. Not a big deal. Doors open and close. This one also sports metal trucks, metal wheels, metal couplers. Very cool metal frame as well. This one is, does not have a plastic frame. This is a metal frame. And I will say this. Compare this one to my U.S. Army boxcar. This one actually feels heavier than the U.S. Army boxcar. For whatever reason, it feels heavier. I don't know why, but it does. Uh, one of the issues that people have complained about, your brake valve right down here. Okay, that little piece sticking up. Or sticking down right there. Um, that has been one of the major complaints that everybody has said is that it hangs up on switches and sometimes around curves. When I got this, this had a slight bend down. So what I did was I took it and bent it up so that it was sitting more level. And that brought that little piece right here up just a hair. And so hopefully when, it's, when I get the switches in, they'll start Y'all can do some running right there to see how it's going to run through the switches. The other option for that one would be to either straighten it out, back cut over here, cut it down further, and bring that tab up, and then remove this and move it over. Or simply just completely remove it, add your own tab, put your brake valve back on. Um... So that is one of the little modifications you can do to the car without harming it. Um, if you got into it and you really wanted to detail it out, you could. Very simple, especially if you're going to repaint. Okay, fine. Sand your ladders off, add your own ladders, foot stirrups, all the way around. The stuff that you would normally do to detail out a car. And it's still, even if with $24.99, detail parts, you're still getting out cheaper than Lionel. Um, I'm actually quite impressed with this little car. I got this car because the Grand Trunk Railroad does run very close to mom and dad's house up there in Michigan. And the last time I delivered up there in that area, lo and behold, I got to see a couple of the Grand Trunk locomotives running. Y'all have seen a short video of that. I think it was a short video. It may not have been. It may have been a regular video, but it was there. And there was three units that were moving. So, this is a way to keep my family close to my heart, one way. Um, I tried to get stuff from different places that may represent a family member or something like that. Menards has really done that. Um, and I love that this other crazy is because it matches the Hymen, Queen Elizabeth. And this was bought actually for a conversion car. After finding the Atlas Coupler, we're not going to do a bunch of conversions. Um, will I leave this one alone? Time will tell. Um, again, it's, it's a great looking product for the price without breaking your bank account. Um, even their buildings. And God, they got one building I'd love to get, but right now I just don't got the money for it, and that is the Monarch building itself for the O-Scale layout. Um, you know, there's not a lot of underside detailing. It is what it is. It's still a nice model for the price. Um, corrugated roof, catwalks, got a little grip on how well I can hit here all that. Uh, numbers very legible. You know, the do not bump. You can read that. I don't have to put my readers on for it. All the numbers on the side of the cart are very, very legible as well. The wheels, okay, they're a little shiny. A bunch. A lot. That can be fixed. Uh, you can go in, paint them, 
weathering, especially if you're into weathering and detailing, right here, great one to do with. Um, there has been some complaints about the backside of these wheels causing sparks on switches. There's been several fixes for that that people have done. I would look into first taking a wire brush or a wire wheel, take your wheels apart and use a brass wheel back there and try to polish them out so maybe they won't be so conductive. If that doesn't feel like you, if you don't feel like that's going to work that well, get yourself uh, some fish paper, like what they have on the Menards rail ties on the center rail. Scratch up this back surface really well, put it in there, cut around it, insulate those wheels on the back side so they don't do that. Um, that is another option. I've seen people paint them. Um, but I really feel like if you just get the shine off of it, it'll stop a lot of that problem. That's just me personally. Uh, we have the knuckle couplers. Again, they're metal. That little plate down here for the uncoupling. And it's working every time. So that is like really cool. So this was just a piece, a single piece, quick review of Menard's rolling stock. We've seen them all. But I don't remember everybody just doing an individual piece review of one. Um, so yeah, why not? This is what this channel is about, right? This channel is about having fun, learning from each other, having a good time, sharing tips and tricks, and showing what we each can do as far as what we're going to do as modeling. Uh, to all the new subscribers, thank you all for coming and hanging out with me and hanging out on this channel. I enjoy that, and that keeps me coming back. If I wanted to think about doing something, I do it. And you might see a video on it later or while I'm doing it. As always, keep the shiny side up. Please hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel out. And it also helps everybody else out too. If you don't want to miss any more videos, just hit that notification bell. It's right there at the bottom of the screen. All you got to do is hit allow notifications. Again, please keep the shiny side up. Rub it down. I will see you again. Maybe tomorrow or the next day because I have got to stop somewhere at a Hobby Lobby and get some more glue because, well, I'm running way low and I didn't bring my other bottle with me. So I'll see y'all then. Y'all take it easy. Have a great night.